What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix or how to record permanently deleted files and folders on a Windows 11. So let me directly get into the step, you can try the same step on a Windows 10 as well as on a Windows 11. So the first and foremost step you can recover is all about you need to go to the recycle bin. So if you can search over here for the recycle bin over here like this, you can see the recycle bin. If you open this, you can see there are tons of files right here. So this one is one of the files which I recently deleted. If you want to recover it, all I have to do is just go to the recycle bin and select respect D1 and you have to double click. We'll be getting this option, just go for the restore. So the file will be restored back and right now on the existing folder and it is fine with that. This is a default way of recycling or recovering the deleted files. And apart from this, if you wanted to recover any other permanent files, what you need to do is we just need to move to the next file. Make sure it's all about what we need. Just go over here, search for the control panel over here and you have to click on this one. And right now, go for system and security, go to the windows to go for over here in the file history. And right now, if you click on this one, as you can see, the file history is turned it off. And if you wanted to turn it on, you can turn it on. But right now, turning on, it is not going to help you guys or because it's already lost. And we have to use an alternative way. So the alternative way is all about just need to close this and we just need to do like this. What we need to do is we should go over here in the Microsoft Store and we have to search for one particular app, which is called Windows Recovery. So just search for Windows Recovery over here and you have to search for this one. And this is the folder which we need to download. This. So this is actually a very important and helpful uh, installer app right now. You can just click on this one and the windows will be completely deleted. So we need to wait for this to get completely done. So once it is successfully downloaded, I'll be showing you what you have to do. So right now it is successfully done and we need to open this. So when you open this, this is how it's going to look like. Right now it is like the CMD and this is how it looks like. So right now what we need to do is we just need to follow like this. So first one we need to type WinFR, that's what you have to type. Then you have to put a space and you have to type C. This is where my file is got deleted. So right now in my case, the file was deleted from C. So I have to type C, then I have to use this particular one and I have to put a slash or space I have to do. Then. If the file is deleted from the C, right now I cannot recover back into D. I have to use an alternative new local disk. So what I'm going to do is instead of C, I'm going to use an alternative one that is D. Because I wanted to, some files of C got deleted and now I wanted to recover it back to D. So I have to type D. Then what I need to do is I just need to use this and I have to put a space. Then I have to put a slash. And before that, I would like to make you notice one thing is here as you can see at the mode that is at the top, we have two options regular, which means standard recovery options for non-corrupted NTFS drivers can be recovered. The next one is extensive, which means thorough recovery option suitable for all file system, which means in the regular one, we can standard, we can recover back some files which very recently deleted, but you cannot recover back the older one or the files which got deleted long back but in the extensive you can recover all the files which even got deleted long back itself so right now i'm going to use the regular so i'm going to use a space then i need to type regular over here because that is the mode which i'm going to use then i need to space well now what any units what i can do is i can just press enter so it is going to cross check every single files and it is going to take a lot of time because it's going to completely check for the c so what i need to do is in order to make the effort or the try very much easier what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a little bit of tips for you guys that means we are going to make it more simpler and faster you have to put a space and you have to use slash over here now we need to type n and once afterwards done because it is going to give you a, like a numeric value or it is going like a filter now we need to type where from where the file got deleted for example i got lost some of my folder uh, photos from the c drive in a folder named photos so if that is the case, I have to type photos because that is the folder which I lost it. Now I have to use the backslash and I have to put space. Then I need to use asterisk over here. Then I use dot. Now I mentioned that I got lost the photos from a folder named photos. Now which is in which was in C and I want to do recover it back to D. Now I need to type what kind of photos it is. For example, the type of photos is JPG or doc file or even many things so what i'm going to type let me type jpeg 
Now I type once afterwards I have to press enter so which is going to take a lot of process in between. So if any kind of errors happening in between so what I have shown you is an example but you have to make sure that you have given the same name for the photos and the type of images as well so that is why I'm getting an error over here but if these steps which I mentioned over here the way you mentioned the local is C which wanted to recover it back to D and the folder is the same so you have to mention it according to your PC's, PC's case because it differs from person to person some may not be having a folder named photos on C it might be on any other folder in, in any other lock list so you have to mention everything once everything done you can see there will be recovery will be done in between so once you're done with this one you can uh, change this up and afterwards you can check even if it's still it's not working we have to use one more thing that is all about we need a folder or an app named recover which is available on the google play store so not the play store it is available in the google you just need to go over here and search for over here at the top you have to go over here you need to search for cleaner over here and once you get into the cleaner what you need to just go over here and you have to search for the recover or type on the recover click on the download free version and you have to click on free download so you just scroll down and you can click on the download options and it will be downloaded once afterwards you just need to go over here in the recover and you have to go for yes right now they're going to ask you this you want to do recover it right so what you wanted to recover it for example you have to select which one is used you have to select it for example let me select all disk then what we need to do is you just need to check for any file path or or you need to check for any kind of thing that you wanted to so what it's going to do is so we need to download it and once it's successfully downloaded from this particular page we need to wait it's get completely downloaded over here or you can just go over here right now we need to install it so once it is successfully installed what we need to do is just follow like this and most probably they're going to install this right now go for install and you have to install the recover over here on your system which is going to take a little bit of time so once it's successfully done we just need to go over here type on join recover and right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here and you need to search for the files or whatever you wanted to do for example if you wanted to scan it is going to scan all these kind of files over here right now but it is going to help you guys out in order to get it back so if any kind of files are deleted for example these are some of the files which recently got deleted over here as you can see right now if i wanted to recover it what i need to do is so select this one you have to for example after the scanning is done these are very recently deleted some of the uh, files and i have to select which one i wanted to recover and you'll be having an option over here for the recover so the recover will be done and now you wanted to save it so you can save it on local list c d or e whatever you wanted to you can save it so this is how you can save it and that's what it is all about how to recover and i hope this video is helpful that's it bye bye